Hey guys, Adam Hart here. If you're having trouble seeing your marker on the map, go to settings, interface, color customization, and change the neutral to something bright like pink or purple. I have mine on purple and it works great for me and your eye health will thank you. If you're unable to open a supply drop crate, go to settings, controller, go down to the very bottom section, which is the gameplay section, and change your interact and reload behavior to the default tap to reload. So I had mine on prioritize interact and you guys probably will too. And once I changed that to tap to reload, I could open it. Now you guys can finally get that anti-air faction mission done. And you probably just have to do the very last objective too, which was to loot a drop supply drop. Some of you might have nightmares about not being able to open boxes, but for the most part, it's behind us now. Where to find a basilisk? You'll need one for the badge of honor white lotus mission. They're often at police stations, but you can find them in other places as well. The first one is on the top left of Almazra city at F2. The second is at the bottom right of Almazra City on the right side of the river at G5. The third and last one is at the bottom of Sayed City at D6, which is below the shopping center and ammo stash. Now where is it inside the police station? So they can be on the seats, shelves, or on a desk, just random places. I found one on this shelf at the first police station we visited, which was the one on the top left of Almazra City. They can randomly be found in other places too, like on the train, ammo stashes like this one in Sayed City, or duffel bags. In fact, when I was recording this video, I only found one basilisk in one police station, and I found the other ones in the ones I just mentioned. Now, if the mission doesn't track your pistol kills, just drop the weapon and pick it back up, and the mission will show that it's tracking. Duplicate any custom weapon you want by dropping it, a friend picks it up, drops it back down, then you stow it and exfil. You can also unlock any gun if your teammate drops it for you, then you exfil. Guys, don't waste your time going into the gas and stamming for XP. This doesn't give you any weapon XP. You're better off doing intel contracts in BR. After the latest patch, you can still push teammates through doors and they can unlock it for you. If you do use a key, make sure your teammates open all the deadbolt doors because every time you open a deadbolt door, it spends one of your key uses. If your field upgrade glitches out and you can't use it, open up your backpack, go to the trophy icon and press X and it'll drop your upgrade and it'll actually duplicate it so you have two. Now you got two for one. Now you can equip one and stow one. Do a rescue hostage mission with an LTV. Park the LTV nearby and gun the enemy down, then have your teammate jump on the car with the hostage to quickly get to the chopper. You might even need a car to get up on the heli because my friend wasn't able to jump up, so they had to jump on the car and then get to the heli. You can also try this shortcut for completed rescue hostage contracts, which are useful because when you do these, you get your own personal exfil. Turn on subtitles and go around the contract area and you'll see a civilian subtitle. Try to find where they're at by being able to hear the enemies when you get close and that's where the rescue hostage contract would take place. The doors will be locked in that building, but sometimes you'll find a way in. If this happens, you can kill all the enemies then go to the hostage, have a teammate start the contract, and you'll be able to defuse the bomb right away and take them to the personal exfil chopper without the pressure of time and enemies. Which happened right here on the map at this contract to the right of the observatory. And then this building is where the rescue hostage contract will always take place. You can use exfil choppers just to get around the map faster. Let the chopper bring you into the sky, then just hop out and go anywhere you want. The fastest way to get a lot of money in DMZ is to do a destroy supplies contract. After you blow up two sites, several safes will open up on the map, which will give you even more money. Radiation blockers make it so you barely take any damage from the storm. You can refill your vehicle by opening your backpack and using a gas can, which are often found at gas stations, but you can find them in other places as well. If your tire gets blown out, you don't have to go to a gas station to repair it. There's hidden caches around the map, and you can even find one on the train. When it comes to dealing with the juggernaut to get the weapon case and the zone is in the observatory, go up this antenna right here on the map, climb all the way up, jump on the railing, and then crouch so you can go under this bar, and then stand up, and now you're on the outside of the antenna. And then as soon as you jump off, Deploy your parachute, and you're going to fly toward this dome and land on the telescope. Look down to the left, and you can kill the jug who won't move or shoot back. To get a black sight key and get a ton of loot from the juggernaut, 
First land near a heli and get some guns. Take off into the sky and wait for the strongholds to open up at 10 seconds left in the first circle. If you're the first one to complete a stronghold, you'll get a black side key. Complete a stronghold by defusing the bomb and then get your loadout. And then there's a glitch where if you select scout, you'll get a UAV every time your enemy uses a UAV. Fly to the black site, kill the juggernaut, you'll get a ton of loot and then you'll be able to use his minigun. You'll also be able to pick your loadout again. How to get more keys. You'll find them in supply drops, HVT contracts can drop them, and you can also buy a key from a shop. Every shop will have one key for $30,000, and sometimes you can buy the downtown post office key from a shop, which can have lots of keys inside the mailroom. There's also more keys upstairs in the duffel bags. This place is heavily guarded, so do that with friends. You can also find them in orange loot crates and jackets. Rarest keys you can get are the sunken ship captain cash key and the sunken ship thieves cash key. These keys are used for one of the higher faction missions and there's a $25,000 skull there. If you're unable to add someone as a friend because your social tab is broken and the friends list is just messed up, go to any game mode and then find a party. Now select a bunch of different settings here and you're going to have the person you want to add do the same exact stuff. So go to in-game communication and select ping only or text. Main language, just choose something that less people will be using like Russian, Polish, or Korean. Primary and second play style, choose casual or objectives. Then search for a party, and because your friend has the same exact settings you do, you'll find each other, and then you can go over their name and send them a friend request. How to get the M13 after patch, the fastest and best way. Equip a sniper for your custom weapon, or if you're in the game, find a sniper when looting, then go to this specific spot with a car. So you wanna do this run when it's in Almazra city. It's the easiest place to do it. If you get here before anyone else, he's going to be walking around the middle area. And almost every time I've gotten here, he's been facing this side. One time he was on the other side, but he was still in the street. If people get here before you, look to see if a gas mask icon shows up, which indicates the chemist is still there. Once you get to this spot, just get out and snipe him. It only takes two bullets. You can't drive him over like you used to before the patch because your car will get DDoSed. But once you kill him, you can drive around the area and you can use that to get the dropped M13 and then get out of there. If you don't have a sniper, you can kill him with regular guns, or you could go the LTV with turret route. You can also have a friend drop you the M13, and it doesn't have to be the specific chemist blueprint, and you'll unlock the gun. So I hope you guys found these tips helpful. If you'd like to check out my Warzone 2 playlist, or Discord, social media, or merch, all that's in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please drop a like and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.